are the Gewurt, and this is Puddin Cup. Hi, oh. Puddin Cup. Today we are doing oddly satisfying sand art. I've never done sand art before. I'm so excited. We got all of the sand ordered. We've got a lovely place to put it. We might have to flip that upside down. Also, I have a... I just dropped it. I have a hammer because we need to smash something before we can start. Let's go. Okay, so to get this started, I need a silver ring, and this one is perfect, but it has glass in the middle, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this, oh my goodness, I hope this works. If it doesn't work, it's gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna put it in a bag, and then put this bag in another bag, and then hit it with a hammer. Oh, Puddin Cup, you cannot be here for this. You're gonna get, don't look me in the face. I have makeup, I have makeup. So it's time to smash. Something I do every weekend. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's really, really hard. Oh my God. Pudding cup's coming, careful. Yeah, it broke. It broke? Yeah. Oh, get, get pudding cup away. Sometimes you just need a helping hand. Car windshield. Oh, oh I thought it'd be a lot cleaner than that. Oh, it's coming out nicely, isn't it? We have our ring here. The problem is, is it's quite warped uh, because we were hitting it with a hammer, so it doesn't lay completely flat. The unfortunate thing about that is it's not gonna be perfect, but is anything I do ever perfect? <clears throat> this is the Rangoli by Jody Rapid Method. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this beautiful, what is this, cerulean blue? It's this color. Yeah, look how pretty it is in the, in the thingy, majiggy. So now I'm just gonna, like this. Whoa, okay, it's really hard to do that, like very, uh, very cleanly. That worries me, but we're gonna do the best we can. Now we're moving on to a darker blue, and we're just gonna kind of go around and make like a beautiful gradient around here. I've never done sand art before, and it's so exciting to me. Come on, bud, you can do it. Out you go. Oh no. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. It's time for a, an easy to pour out royal Blue. Uno momento. Oh, this is actually much easier now. It's like I can control it. It's good enough for me. It's like washing paint dry. Do to cut them open a little more? <laughs> um, no, I mean, I feel like this is good because I have more control. Because I have to do like a lot more detailed ones later and I need this control. It's just a little tedious for this part. Cartha Gewert is a crafty woman squeezing this with pliers so it's a little bit more open. A lovely yellow. Yes, get out. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good pile. Bink. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, this is my favorite color of pink. Also, I feel like people who, like, you can't change your favorite color. Your favorite color is the color that you choose when you're like five years old, four or five years old. So I chose pink and even through my emo phases, no matter what phase I went through, I stuck with my guns and I think you should too. What if your favorite color just kind of changes, you know? It can't. You choose your aura when you're a small, small child and there's nothing you can do to back away from the aura you chose. Wow, Cartha philosophy. Yeah, people who choose pink are very like loving, happy people, very fun to be around. People who choose purple, they're wild. They're wild, they're super wild, but I love them. I chose green then. Really? Yeah. That's like hot. Like if you choose green, you're hot. Ooh. If you choose blue and you're a guy, you're very basic. But if you choose green, you're mm. I'd say if you chose pink and you're a girl, then you're kind of basic. It is, it is a very basic color. But a lot of people actually, because it was the most popular color, a lot of girls didn't choose pink. So the ones who stuck to their guns, they know who they are and they're here to slay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, totally. right? Totally. Super fun. Ooh, a dark purple? What do you mean? Sure it's not the black? I'm kind of colorblind, but not completely. Isn't this beautiful? Gorgeous. Okay, wait, I gotta like look from a bird's eye view and make sure that these are exactly the same size because like this art piece is gonna very heavily depend on symmetry. Symmetry, very important. I do wish that the sand was a little bit finer, but you can't always win. You can't always win. What do you think of people whose favorite color is red? Uh, I think that they are... Hot. It's like, it's like green. People with big dreams choose red. 
Do you have big dreams? I do. Good. We should all have big dreams. We should all think that we're special. We should all think that we're going to do big things. And then end up at home just making sand art instead. Okay. That's really toxic. Because it's true. <laughs> oh, this orange is just so delicious. A beautiful creamsicle orange. Yeah, I want to mix it in some water and drink I know, it. and just drink it up. I want to like stir it into some vanilla ice cream and have some mango marble. Mm, <laughs> yummy. Okay, so now I'm gonna like try to, mm, I think I'm gonna put the, huh. I'm now just realizing that I need these to be way bigger because I'm supposed to like smudge them to the middle. And the thing with sand art is it can be as thick as you want. Like it's not like paint where you don't want it to be super thick. More is more here. The only mistake you can make is using too little in my humble humble opinion. I'm gonna do yellow again just because yellow is such a pretty color. So bright, so vibrant, so inspiring. Yellow. What do you think of people whose favorite color is yellow? Happy, very, like a little too happy. Okay, so I miscalculated because this is too small for one color. This right here is too small for one color. And also this one's way too small. Like this is where like, yikes. Well, we're just gonna do the best we can. <laughs> we're just gonna have two random, really small purple areas. She miscalculated. You can tell she's never done this before. It will randomly work out. I hope so. She desperately hopes so. Kinda cute, kinda pretty. I'm just gonna like clean it up on the sides. <gasps> oh. Yep, yeah, you don't want that to happen. You want it to be this perfect circle that you created. Not bad. You know when you're like editing a painting after? It's so interesting how you can like edit this. Make it cleaner. Yowza! Now I take a Q-tip and I smear it all into the middle. Like this. Whoops. That's better. Don't. Sneeze. I won't. Oh my goodness. <gasps> wow! That's kind of nice. And we're just getting started. Okay, now what do we do? <laughs> now we make it clean. It's supposed to be like, like every color has a butt, you know? You want every color to have a thick, juicy, but, God, you really need to have like the steadiest of hands for this to work. Okay, I'm closing in the white gaps. Aren't you like relaxed watching this? Mm -hmm. It's giving me anxiety personally, because I'm the one doing it, but if I was watching this, I'd be so relaxed. Bedtime stories with Karthagoo. It's a right-handed world out there. That was really tough. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some white. In the now, other shot, it looks like fabric or something. I know, like it looks, it looks like a sticker. I'm a really big fan. Okay, so now I'm gonna take white and I'm gonna make a little white pile in the middle. They didn't have sand, so we're using salt. As if. I guess if you didn't fill in all the whites at the, like on the other side, then this would be like the correction for it. Okay, that looks about right. Oh, this is really fun. Okay, so one sec. So fun! <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna mark the center with my finger. Cool, huh? Really cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it's not that cool, but I'm gonna take this spoon because I need like a perfectly circular bottom and I'm gonna just press it in. Make it look like a machine did it. Oh! You are a machine. I'm obsessed. What, like, what do I do? Like, do I hairspray it so it like what stays the same? I don't want this to get ruined. Okay, so now we're gonna take our favorite color, the orange. Wait, no. Do I do the orange or do I do the? Do I do this or do I do this? I think maybe the orange. Orange. That is so. Stunning, so fun, so spectacular. Oh, and I didn't have to clean up the edges because now I'm gonna go around it with white. Now we have to outline everything in white and I'm supposed to have a bigger metal circle than the one I started with, but the first circle like this one, hammering it out was so risky, so dangerous that we're just gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. And we found like 
five different smaller circles we could have used for this. I, yeah, it's not, not the best. I have to very carefully outline this thing because the next part is like what makes it really a standout piece. Oh, there you go, there you got a little flow. Yeah, they call me Aunt Flo. Oh. Ooh. 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 Now what are you doing? Flattening it with a spoon. This is the most satisfying yet most fragile art you could possibly make. Maybe stay tuned to the end for when we suck it all up with a vacuum. Stop. You're actually going to suck my art up? Now I'm going to make little elevated black dots around it. The black dots might ruin everything because what if it gets... I'm not going to think about it. These are supposed to be white dots, but I'm doing it on a white background. So like, I feel like it's going to get away from us if we follow it completely as planned. Ooh, the beauty of using white for this is it doesn't get all mixed up in the white in the center. I didn't think about that, but it's okay. It's like an art attack. Art attack? Yeah. What's an art attack? On the like YTV station. Oh, okay, millennial. <laughs> That's enough. It was like in between commercials, there was this guy who would just come in and like throw garbage everywhere and it would show from above and he would make like some crazy cool art with just like random stuff and this house. Oh, that's cool. Get the kids being crafty? Yeah. And it was an art attack! Art <laughs> attack. Art attack! Precision German engineering. Ha ha ha. Wow, Pudding Cup has been asleep this whole time. He just knows that him and sand art do not mix. We were so afraid that he was going to ruin everything and he hasn't yet. Better speed it up. <laughs> do you want to keep that yet? Yep. I'm working on it. I feel like a pastry chef, but I really do. Now, small circle. I'm gonna put it here. Yes, sirree, babe. Yes, sirree, Bob. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. Yep, looks about right. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 perfect. Whew, moving it, al moving it along. Light poiple. I'm just kind of like taking the colors that are kind of parallel to this and making little circles. It's just time consuming, that's all. Time consuming, but shockingly gorgeous. Are you relaxing? No, I'm filming. Oh. Should I be relaxing? Yes. Oh, okay. <sighs> Have you ever had a time in your life where you were like, Ugh. oh. Oh, wait, you want me to film again? Yes. I was relaxing. Oh, no. You have to film me. Oh, okay. Have you ever had a time in your life where you were like, oh, I'm relaxing, like I'm, I'm so relaxed. Or a time in your life where you're like, you actually were grateful for the moment where you were like, I'm so happy right now. Yes. That's good. Have you? I kind of don't really appreciate things in the moment. So that time we went to Mexico, you didn't just have like a, oh, relax. That's correct, actually. I did. But I was also worried that you get bored that all I want to do is lay there. Was there ever a moment in Cuba where you're like, ah, oh, <laughs> No. Oh, this blue's easy. When you said you wanted to do sand art, I thought you meant sand in the jars. No. No thank you. I'm okay. But thanks for the offer. And then you're gonna give sand art jars to everybody? <laughs> I think I've just seen it too much. Whereas this kind of sand art, I. I don't have a ton of exposure to it. So when I first saw this, I was like, oh, what? There's a much more difficult one that Cartha chickened out on. Yeah, there is. If you like this one, maybe she'll muster up the courage to show you. Maybe I will. The galactic egg. <laughs> the galactic egg. Uh-oh, now what? <sighs> it's a tuppy. It's a toughie. As far as symmetry goes, this isn't going to be the cat's meow, but I think I can make it work. Freehanding. Freehanding. Just freehanding the sand. You free sanding. To. You have to sometimes. Free sanding. Whew. It actually worked! Let's go. Let's go. And now I have to fill this in, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I just like 
painstakingly did this and like flattened it with a spoon. Like it's almost perfect, but not quite. But look at Terry's. It's way more perfect than mine. No spoon. Okay, you're right. I'll try it your way. This is what happens when you use tools. Can we fix it? I can fix it. What happened? I dropped the spoon. Why? I don't know. I'm like the least clumsy person ever. So I'm like, I, I'm in disbelief. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wrong orange. <laughs> Can you pick it up? Yeah. I'm going to cover it up. <laughs> yeah, it's the beauty of art. Cover your mistakes. You cover your shame and you forget about the awful moment you dropped the spoon in the sand art. Now I'm going to take this pen and make butts all over this, just like we did before. So all this flattening we did. Yeah, for no reason. Don't worry about it. It happens sometimes. Hopefully when you drag up that orange that you covered up, it doesn't- <gasps> Shut up. I didn't even think about that. The asymmetry is just, like really starting to show up, but it still looks amazing. So I'm excited. Also the ones I did with the flattened sand are a lot better than the ones you did, but it's fine. Okay, whatever. <laughs> just kidding. You did fine. Just a little bit of the orange. So it's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not, it's not terrible. Okay, so now we're like kind of just adding little gradients here. The, again, this would be a lot cooler if the, uh, the sand was thinner. I feel like I'm adding salt to like a recipe. Mm -hmm. I like it a little salty, thank you. Yellow. You were actually allowed to kind of mess up a lot with this. Okay, and then we put the dark colors and the light colors. It's kind of peacocky, huh? Mm -hmm. Time for some finishing touches. I'm gonna put white dots in these in these here centers. We love that. Ooh, ah. It's weird because like this is easy, but it was like hard in its own special way. In, as in time consuming? Yeah, time consuming. Took about an hour and a half so far time consuming and you like if you mess it up like you're you're in big trouble but not too much trouble good thing the wind hasn't picked up in here <laughs> i mean that's pretty neat don't you think it's pretty neat um i do regret doing it on a uh on a white surface because i would really would have liked the black line to be white it's cute it's like a color wheel what do you think i like it what do you think it, it really bored pudding cup but Hopefully it didn't bore you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I will see you on the next one. Bye. How do we put it all back in the jars? I'll get it. Oh, okay.